Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Jessica Lilly. So if you are new here, then thank you for tuning in and please remember to hit that subscribe button down below. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't done it already, then please make sure you do. So without any further ado, today I have created this Radiant Soft Glam makeup look. If you'd like to see how I created this look, then please keep watching. So as I want this look to be super radiant and super glowy, I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Hollywood Filter and this is in the shade 3. So I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones, down the centre of my nose, my brow bone, a little bit on my forehead, a little on my chin and just across my cupid's bow as well. I'm just pressing that into my skin with my beauty blender. And I really love, love, love the glow this gives. It just gives such like a natural radiant finish to the skin. And it's not too shimmery, it's just, just the right glow. So now I'm picking up my Physicians Formula Foundation and this is in the shade MW2. So this is the healthy foundation with a brightening complex in there so it's for all skin types. And the way you apply it is with this sponge applicator. I'm not too sure about the sponge applicator. I think I'd prefer a pump instead, just me personally. But I love the finish this foundation gives and I wear this like day to day and it gives a really nice radiant finish to the skin and it looks very natural as well like your skin also doing a little bit on the neck as well and I'm also just going over my jaw so now I'm taking my IT Cosmetics flat top buffing brush and I'm just going to gently press that into the skin and just buff that all in. And as you guys know, blend in the ears. Blend, blend, blend. So I'm just going to press it over my eyes a little bit just to make sure that looks seamless and it all ties in together. Then taking a little bit on the back of my hand, I'm just dipping my Beauty Blender into that product on the back of my hand and then I'm just pressing that into the skin. The reason why I apply a little bit onto the back of my hand is I don't want it to take the product off, I want to push the product into the skin. So if you've already got product on your beauty blender, you're just helping to build up that coverage and not take the foundation off. And then this just really helps to make your foundation look flawless. So where I've got a couple breakouts on my jaw area and I need to go over them again because they're showing through, I'm just going to dip my concealer brush into this foundation brush. And I'm just going lightly over my blemishes just to give them slight coverage. And I'm also going to take the same brush and just apply some here in the corner of my eyes. Just because I find that's where I tend to look dark around here. So if I build the foundation coverage up before I put my concealer on, it just really helps to disguise them. So now I'm going in with my Dior Forever Skin Correct and this is in the shade 1W. Yes, sorry, needed to check then. So I just apply it down the sides of my nose and then out here. And then I do a little line like so. And I like to just do my smile lines here and then I do almost like a t-shape down my chin and then on my forehead I do a line in the center and then like two lines either side 
Then I just connect that line up and go straight down the centre of my nose. Just like that. And then I want to do some on my cupid's bow as well. Then I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury the Hollywood Complexion Brush and I'm taking this smaller side here. And then I just like to sort of lightly tap where I've been. I always like my under eyes to be quite bright. So I tend to get a concealer a couple shades lighter than my foundation just because I want that area to be brighter. And I always make this bit quite straight down the center of my nose, down the sides of my nose, sorry. So really just blend this in. Don't have to worry about it being perfect. So now it's sort of blended in. I go back in with my beauty blender and I'm just going to make sure that's all blended and seamless. So I forgot to say that before I started my makeup, I primed and prepped my skin. The key to flawless looking makeup is skincare. If you haven't got your skincare and your base of your face prepped and ready for your makeup application, it just won't look right. Your makeup will go patchy, it will either come off during the day, it won't blend evenly. So always remember to prep your skin prior to your makeup application. I'm going in with my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate palette and this is in the shade 01. So this is a bit of a mess at the moment, but I'll show you anyway. So that's the contour shade and you've got your illuminating shade there as well. So I'm just going to go in with this contour shade here. So I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Complexion Brush and I'm just going to dip that into the contour shade. And then I'm almost like dabbing it just on my cheekbones here. I'm keeping it quite high up. I'm not bringing it down too far. And already you can see just how much of like gives you the definition of a cheekbone. So I'm gonna just do the same on the other side. Now I'm just going to do my jaw, so. And the way I do it is I almost like press it into the skin rather than blending I press it in and in this way it's going to stay in place for longer and not move the foundation underneath either. It's a perfect tone for contouring it's like an almost grey tone but it's still got that bronziness to it it doesn't look ashy at all and it's really blendable, really buildable as well. So you can really build the coverage up what you need and it doesn't look muddy on the skin either. It looks like the perfect contour. So I'm just applying a little bit on my temples. So as you can see, this one hasn't got any on at the moment. And then a little bit, what's left over on the brush onto the top of my forehead and under my lip as well. Now I'm taking my Morphe pencil brush and I'm just going back into that contour shade here and I'm just going to contour my nose. So I'm bringing it down the sides of my nose and I'm bringing it up here where my eyebrow is. And I'm also going to apply a little like triangle at the end of my nose. I'm just going to do a little bit more underneath my bottom lip as well. I also want this bit here so I'm just applying two lines there. Then going back in with my beauty blender I'm just pressing that into the skin and making sure that's all blended. 
and it's just oh this contour is honestly amazing it's just so blendable I know it's a little more expensive but it does last such a long time and it really is worth the money in my opinion because it's like a staple piece in my makeup routine now so I'm just sort of like blending like this on my eyelids just find that helps to I don't know what I'm trying to say helps to <laughs> blend it I feel like I've said blending about 50 times in this video so now I'm just going over my nose contour just at the end bit here and then I'm going to leave this bit because I'm going to blend that in with a brush instead so I'm picking up my Real Techniques brush and I'm just pressing that over my nose contour almost like pressing it into the skin this way it's not going to move your contour around it keeps it in place but it just diminishes any harsh lines already you can see how it makes my nose look a lot daintier than it was before now I'm picking up my iconic London illuminated drops and these are in the shade original so these drops are honestly amazing I've used these for such a long time now and I've never found anything as good as these drops they just give your skin a lovely glowy finish so I just take my beauty blender and I've popped a little bit onto the back of my hand and I'm just going to pick up with my beauty blender some of the product and then I'm just applying it to my cheekbones so I just press that in and you see that lovely finish it gives it just gives such a radiant natural looking glow and then I just do the same on the other side so I'm just going over my cheekbone here and then just bringing it down slightly oh just look at that glow just look at it oh I am in love I just love a glowy radiant look I think that's just my go-to look now I'm just going over my cupid's bow I'm going to do a little bit on my temples now I'm going to pick up my other morphe pencil brush so this is a clean one and I'm just going into that product and I'm just bringing it into the corner of my eyes a little bit on my brow bone And I'm just going over my upper left again. And I'm also going to bring it down the center of my nose. Not too much, but just a little bit on the tip of my nose as well. Just to really give you that like cute button nose. So now I'm going in with my Revlon Skin Lights Bronzer and I'm taking my It Cosmetics and this is the Heavenly Luxe airbrush powder and bronzer brush number one so I'm just swirling that around my Revlon bronzer and I'm just pressing it into my skin this is just going to help warm our face up so I just again like to press it and I'm also going to bring it on my neck as well and my decolletage too so this is a nice big round brush so you can literally do your decolletage as well your neck and it's so soft honestly it's like the softest brush I've ever used another little trick I like to do is I like to actually dust over my hands with my bronzer and that way your hands never are a different colour to your face or like sometimes if I fake tan my tan comes off so much more faster on my hands from washing them and the whole sanitizer situation so I just like to go over my hands with a little bit of bronzer and then that way it sort of makes everything look the same colour so I also forgot as well like if you want to be extra take some of your iconic London 
and just place it on like your collarbones here so just place a little bit and there so sometimes if you like go like that you can see them more and then I literally just take my beauty blender and just press that in and you just see it gives like such a lovely natural finish and then I take some on my shoulder as well so this is good if you're going for a night out or just somewhere that you want to make a bit more of an effort then I tend to always do that it just I don't know it just makes it look a bit more fancy so now I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury's cheek to sheet <laughs> Cheek to Chic Pillow Talk Blusher and I'm just swirling my Morphe powder brush into the blusher so swirl not on the outside and then like pop in, in that shade in the middle and I love this blusher because it's just such like a natural pinky shade it doesn't look too over the top it's perfect for every day So now I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Powder and this is in the shade 2 and I'm taking my number 3 Heavenly Luxe It Cosmetics Brush and I'm just swirling that into the powder. So this is the Jumbo Powder Brush. So I just swirl it around a little bit and tap off any excess. I'm just going to start anywhere where I find I get more oily, more shiny throughout the day. So like my forehead, I just tap it on gently. My chin. And I find my makeup comes off around here quite quick. I'm just patting that over. I'm leaving this part here, just as I've highlighted that area. I don't really want to mattify it. Plus we put the powder blush on as well, so you don't really need to worry about setting that in place because the bronzer and the powder brush can't get my words out. Powder blusher has already done that for us. Just going to go over my nose a little bit. Now I'm taking my Morphe. I don't know what this one's called. I need to check. It was in a set. Um, I just call it like a small powder brush, but I don't know if that's what it's actually called or for. But you know, that's what I use it for. So again going into my powder and I'm just taking this down the sides of my nose and a little bit under my eye as well. Not too much because we don't want to go too crazy with the powder. Oh and I do take it on my eyelid as well. This just sets anything in place so it's a good base for our eyeshadow. This powder is honestly amazing. It doesn't look cakey on the skin. It just literally looks like your skin. And I love the way it's so buildable as well. So you can really build the coverage up and add to it. It really just gives a nice natural mattifying effect. So now I'm going in with my XX Revolution highlighter and this is in the shade Focus. So I'm actually going to go in with this Morphe I think it's an eyeliner brush but I don't really tend to use it for that. I tend to use it for my highlight down the center of my nose. So just going into my highlighter and tapping off the excess. I'm just creating that line down the center of my nose and then bringing it out a little bit on this section here then I'm just going to blend that in with my finger and then I'm doing the same on my cupid's bow and also applying a little bit in the corner of my eyes as well now the face is done I'm going to move on to eyes and eyebrows and then lips as well I think I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows first so I'm taking my NYX micro brow pencil in the shade espresso and I'm just going to go through with my spoolie to lift my brows into place just give them a little bit of fluff then I'm taking my pencil side and first of all I'm just going to do 
the lining of my under brow here. So on my outer bit I tend to do little flicky motions and this just creates like hair like strokes. It doesn't look too harsh either. And I just did the same on the other side. Just bringing it down, but still creating those little hair like strokes just by flicking the brow pencil. I just flick it in the middle here. Just with a light hand, you want to do this. Don't go too hard, otherwise it will look too harsh. So now I'm taking my spoolie end and I'm just brushing through the brows again. And this is just going to blend it all together. Now I'm taking my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel and this is so good. It just keeps your brow hairs in place all day it honestly just freezes your brows to how you've done them they're not budging so I just lightly go over it's like basically like a clear mascara but for your brows so I just place them how I want them and because I like my brows to be more fluffier I'm just pulling them up and then sweeping them over slightly I'm just taking a flat eye brush and I'm going to apply a little bit of foundation to that brush. Just a little bit. So the foundation you use, just apply a little bit and I'm just going over where I've been. The top, just as I find sometimes where you've brushed your brow hairs up, that product sort of comes up with it and it leaves it on the foundation. So I just go over that area just to make sure it's all nice and neat and there's no like brown eyebrow pencil there and then you can take a little bit down here as well just to neaten that all up now for eyes I'm taking this gold crush palette and this is from XX Revolution so this palette I absolutely adore I'm in love with this eyeshadow palette and I honestly can't rave about it enough so these are the colors There's just a whole range of colours in there from your shimmery to your matte shades to your more creamy textures and I find they give such a good colour payoff as well, like the pigment is so pigmented. So I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury's blending brush, this is the mini brush that was in her mini brush collection so I will link it down below. And I'm just going to go into the shade here, Alluvium, and I'm just taking this all over my lid. This just creates like a nice base ready for our other colours. Now keeping the same brush, I'm going into the shade here, Mineral. So it's like a lovely warm brownie tone. And I'm really focusing this on my outer edge. So I'm just bringing it up and then focusing it more on this outer corner here. And then blending the rest of the product into my crease. And then I'm going to take a little bit and just apply it here into my inner corner. Taking this smudger brush again from my Charlotte Tilbury mini collection and I'm just going into that mineral shade again which we just used and I'm going to focus this on my under eye. And now I'm going in with this MAC brush. I'm not sure the number it has rubbed off, but I will try and find it and I'll link it down below. And I'm just going into this shade here, which is a magma. And I'm just applying this on this outer edge here, just to deepen that a little bit. And then just blending it slightly.
I'm just focusing it on the outer crease bit here and then just blending that in slightly just to deepen it a little bit now I'm going back in with that Charlotte Tilbury brush I used first making sure all the products off that brush and I'm just going to blend now picking up my real techniques brush I'm just going into this shade here volcanic and I'm just applying that in the center here now taking more of my mineral tone again I'm just really going over what we've done already just to really deepen that color and blend everything in I'm going to put a little bit of sparkle on it. So I'm taking my finger and I'm just going to dip it into this colour here, Quartz. I'm just going to dab it over the centre while we applied that paler tone. I just think that brings it in together a little bit. Now I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Eyeliner and I'm going to apply this all on my upper lid. So this is like a chocolatey brown tone. And then the same on the other side. Now I'm just going to apply that on the inside of my eye as well. And then I'm just going over lightly my bottom lashes with that brow pencil and then just bringing it up slightly. Now taking my Morphe eyebrow brush, so this is like the double ended wand, but I'm going to use it for my eyeliner. I'm going to go into this shade here, Intrusive, so the darkest shade of the palette. And I'm just going over where we've been with that brownie eyeliner, focusing more at the edges, leaving this part how we've done it. So this is like a really dark brown shade. It's almost like black, to be honest with you. It's like really, really dark. So I just tend to put this on the outer edge and then leave the inner part brown and then just taking this Charlotte Tilbury blender brush I am just going to go over that and just smoke it out so now I've got a little bit of fallout underneath I'm just taking my Morphe powder brush which I set my under eye with and just dusting away anything that's fallen out now I'm using my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This mascara, honestly, everyone's been going mad over it on TikTok. So I thought I have to try it and see what all the hype is about. So this will be the first time me using this mascara. So it's a first impression as well. So let's see what it's like. So it's got like a plastic brush. It's quite a long brush. I like the way so far it's separating them it doesn't look clumpy yeah and it's lengthening them as well yeah i actually quite like it let's do the other side the brush is quite long so that's always a good thing because then it gets picks up more lashes oh wow i love this mascara yeah i love it let me do my bottom lashes because that's the trick as well. So, so I'm just going to let my mascara set a little bit then I'll apply some false lashes. While I'm waiting for my mascara to set I will go on ahead and do my lips. So I'm taking the NYX 
new truffle lip liner. So it gives like a lovely browny nudie finish, which I like, and then I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury's Penelope Pink Lipstick. And then I'm taking my Maybelline Lift to Gloss in the shade Reef. So I just like this lip combo as I find Penelope Pink's very nude -y. You've got the nude truffles that just gives a little bit of darkness to the lip and definition. And then I go in with this lip gloss as it's like a pinky tone and then it just like transforms it to like the most perfect nude so i've applied my lashes off camera and now i'm just going to go over my face and set my face with my morphe continuous setting mist So I absolutely love the Morphe Setting Mist. It smells amazing. And I love the way it's a continuous spray so it doesn't spit at you like some of the pumps do. So it just refreshes my skin and just makes my makeup set in place. So I honestly cannot recommend the Morphe Setting Mist enough. If you're looking for a new setting mist then definitely try it because you will not be disappointed. So this is the finish and final look. So it's a very soft, radiant glam look I have created. It's just my go-to look really, which I tend to gravitate more towards, like a radiant, soft glam look, which I absolutely love. I love the warm tones to it and the glowiness to the skin. So if you've enjoyed watching this video then please remember to give it a big thumbs up down below i really appreciate it and if you haven't already then remember to hit that subscribe button as well but most importantly thank you for watching this video